Azili on the follow and the foul. Festus Azili with the slam. Grew up in Nigeria. Big disparity between the rich and the poor. I was a big kid. I loved my, my studies. My mom really put that in me. I felt like that was a way that I could help people. Studying medicine was my dream initially. We grew up under a repressive military government. They didn't fund the teachers, didn't fund the schools. So my family sent me to the United States to study to be a doctor. You know, I was always a big kid and I never really fit in anywhere. When I discovered basketball, I thought that basketball would be my thing. Like I would find my community of other tall people. Here I come at 15 years old, picking up a basketball for the first time. We found a, a basketball team in the back of the newspaper, my uncle and I. I tried out for the team. I didn't know how to play. I didn't know the rules. I didn't know anything. And shortly after that, I got cut from the team. The first thing I feel is rejection. It's really hard for a 14, 15 year old kid. The resilience comes in when somebody tells you that you're not good enough. My parents instilled in me very early. It's a very Nigerian thing. You know, even when you come second in your class, they ask you the question, they said, the person that came first, does he have two heads? The idea is, what is so special about the other person? Why are they so special? Why are you not? You're special as well. Having that in the back of my mind gave me this fighting spirit just to keep going, to keep pushing. I had a mentor that came in, brought me to the game of basketball. His name is Keith Odister. And he goes to the basketball coach. He says, hey, you have a big kid right there. He's, he could be good on your team. And the coach says, nah, he's no good. He said, what's wrong with him? Can he run? The coach says, yeah. Can he jump? The coach says, yeah. Then what's the problem? The coach says, he can't chew gum and walk at the same time. <laughs> That's how awkward I was. And you know, this guy really became a, a mentor for me. He wanted me to play on his AAU team. And I didn't know the rules. I didn't know at halftime you switch ends of the court. I'm like, who is this guy? Get this guy out of here. And he comes and puts his arm around me and tells me, listen, I still think you're going to be great. And someday, eventually, all these people here laughing at you are gonna be asking you for tickets. He taught me that you can make a huge impact on people's lives by just being there. I was able, two years later, to get a scholarship to go to Vanderbilt University. I was a practice player, didn't play very much my first couple of years. And it took me a while to get acclimated to the college system. When I started playing, I really dedicated myself to the game. By my third year, I was a you know, team captain. My senior year, we won a championship, first one in like 50 years in my school. It's just crazy what happens when you keep fighting. The Golden State Warriors select Festus Azili from Benin City, Nigeria and Vanderbilt University. I was drafted with Draymond Green, got to a team with a young Steph Curry and a young Klay Thompson. We go from the worst team in the NBA to the best team in the NBA. I don't think that happens without the resilience of each and every person on the team. We had a whole roster of people who had something to prove. That is one thing that we all had in common is that fighting spirit. The Golden State Warriors are the 2015 NBA champions. You know, challenges always come. I had a really bad injury that had me kind of fighting for my life. And this is after coming off being on the highest stage in the world. My mom said something to me at this point. You know, she's an African parent. And so they always speak in parables. She said, God gave you your mountains so you can show others it can be moved. She says, do you know that you're strong? And she said, knowing someone is strong because they can lift the weight and it's heavy. But I know the weight is heavy, but I also know that you're strong because you're my son. And that gave me the strength. If I can share that joy for this sport, maybe I inspire somebody else to play. Maybe I can just take people away from whatever they're going through in this moment and just have them escape into the game of basketball. 